Hi, welcome to our mass lesson. Today we'll be converting metric units of mass. The aim of this lesson is to show you how to convert in the metric unit of mass. Another word could be weight. So my learning objective is to convert between the standard units of mass. And I'm going to show you an easy trick. For our vocabulary, we have got the complete metric unit conversion chart. You can see here we've got the prefixes, milli, centi, deci, and then we have got this has no prefix. But after the prefix, we have the deca, the hecto, and then the kilo. And you can see there are multiples of tens. 10 milligram is one centigram. 10 centigrams, one decigram. 10 decigrams, one gram. 10 grams, one decagram. 10 decagram, one hectogram. 10 hectograms, one kilogram. Um, just as a note here, this is uh, 1,000 kilograms is actually one ton. <clears throat> and also, there is a mnemonic I'm going to use here to help you remember the prefixes. Again, is he uh, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. And you can see the K is kilo, uh, hecto, deca gram which is the base unit then we have the deci centi and milli you can see the common ones with the stars the milligram the gram and the kilogram and just remember this if i have a milligram and i want to make it bigger like a bigger unit of measure I'm going to the left and I must divide by 10. But if I have, let's say, a kilogram and I want to convert it to a smaller unit of measure, I'll multiply by 10. Just note these ones. <clears throat> there are some success criteria to help us achieve the objective. One, I can say a mnemonic to help remember the order of the prefixes in the complete metric unit system. Second, I can also start a given mass in the right prefix. And third, I can even remember whether to move the mass to the right or left, dividing or multiplying by 10 in each move. Now we have a problem here to solve. I've got three problems and let's start with the first one. <clears throat> we have 673.1 gram and then we have to convert it to kilograms. So we'll follow some steps and the first step here is determine the column to start. Now the column to start is given by the unit. This is a gram. So if I come to my chart I'm actually starting from here, 67.1, uh, 673.1 gram will, will be here. And then my uh, destination column is a kilogram. So from here, I actually have to go to the left as my destination um, column. But to do that, I have to go a column at a time and dividing by 10 as I do that. So this number divided by 10, divided by 10 again, and divided by 10 again. So in effect, I'm actually dividing by a thousand. So this number divided by a thousand would give me 0 0.6731. And that answer should be here. Now in the second one, following the same thing, I have got 95 grams 
I'm to change convert to milligram. So first, let me determine the column for this given weight. So 95 grams should go in this column. This is the base. And since the destination says milligram, now my milligram column is here. So I'm actually going to the right. And that means I should be using this. And when I'm going to the right, I have to times by 10. So 95 times 10 times 10 times 10. So since I'm timesing by 10 three times, it's like I'm timesing by a thousand. And if I times 95 by a thousand, I should get 95,000 milligrams. And that answer should be here, right here. And the third one, I now have 0 0.5 kilograms and I'm to convert to grams. So first, using our steps, let me determine the starting column. So here, the kilograms is that column. So I'm going to write it there, 0 0.49 kilograms. And my destination column is the gram. So I'm actually moving to the right. That means I'm using this one. And if I'm using, going to the right, I have to multiply by 10. So let's see how many times I'll multiply by 10. Times 10, times 10, times 10, three times. So that means I'm actually multiplying by a thousand. So 0 0.49 times a thousand should give me 490. Okay, what I now want you to do is to pause the video and do these for me. We'll look at the answers in the next slide. How did you do? Now, in the questions, the first question is here. Now, you have to convert 8 kilograms to grams. So, as our first step, we determine the column to start. So, it should be 8 kilograms should be in this column. And my destination uh, column is the grams. So, that should be here. And if I'm going to the right, I multiply by 10. So from here, times 10, times 10, times 10. So actually, I should be times it by a thousand. So eight times a thousand should give me 8,000 grams. And that answer should be right here. Now let's look at the second one. Three kilograms to milligrams. So let's determine our column to start. Now the kilograms column is also here, but I have my destination column is the milligram, milligram, milligram is right here. So let's see how many times I have to time by 10. So times 10, 1, 2, 3, four, five, six. Now, a number with six tens is actually a million. So I'm actually times in three by a million and that should give me three million. Now let's go to the fourth, uh, the third one. Here I've got four million milligrams. So let's see, my first step is to determine the column to start. Since it's written milligram, I have to start with the milligrams column, which is here. And my destination says kilograms. So from the milligram here, I'm going all the way to there. So I'm going to the left. And I'm, when I'm going to the left, I have to divide by 10 each time. So from 4 million, I'll divide by 10, by 10, by 10, by 10, by 10, and by 10. Actually, I'm dividing by a million. So 4 million divided by a million should give me 4 kilograms. And that number, that answer should be right here. So this should be 4. And in our last one, we have 
no kilogram but 800 grams so in fact um, when as they say no kilogram actually it should have been here but there's nothing okay and then I'm um, to add 800 grams and 800 grams is here so actually it should be 800 grams but then that's my that's not the only destination from 800 grams I have to convert it to grams now so from here this is my grams column and this is my kilograms column so I'm actually going to the left let's see how many times to the left one two three so I'm actually dividing this number by three okay sorry I'm dividing 800 by a thousand and 800 divided by a thousand should give me 0 0.8 kilograms and that answer should be here what I now want you to do is to pause the video and go and do some work now S1 is for mild S2 is for medium and S3 is for hot if you finish your work you can try the challenge yeah now just call a guardian or a sibling that's if they are busy and show them how you worked out some of your work some of your questions just as a reflection now can you say a mnemonic to help remember the order of the prefixes in the complete metric unit system can you also start a given mass in the right prefix can you determine whether to move the mass to the left or right dividing or multiplying by 10 in each move if you can do all that well done you have achieved the objective